Uh, it's gotten down pretty much to where I thought it would get to in terms of the hard break. Um, the thought uh, was that interest rates were going up pretty quickly. We'd, we'd had that view uh, and starting to crimp. I thought economic and profit growth probably peaked in the second quarter of this year uh, and that we would see a progressive deceleration. You made money in, in short interest rates too. How did we you, did. How, um, how did you uh, do that? Well, we were short the front end of the yield curve primarily. Okay. I thought that was much more interesting than the back end of the yield curve. That's gone up as well as, as everybody knows. But, you know, looking back a year, the Fed was radically mispriced, in my opinion. It seemed that economic growth was pretty strong. The Fed had indicated they wanted to tighten, and the market really didn't believe it. And there's been a significant repricing at the front end, but not yet as much as I think is necessary. I think the Fed still goes multiple times next year. They're going to go in December. Uh, and they're doing that against a background of slowing economic growth and slowing profit growth. So the outlook for the market, in my opinion, uh, isn't nearly as good as it was. It, you, you probably don't get a peak uh, of substance in the market until the end of the economic cycle is in sight. Traditionally, that's how it's worked. But I think we've had the bulk of the good gains that yeah, we're going to get. You're feeling like at this point we've, we've paid it forward. We've got a lot of what all these good things that have happened are already reflected in stock prices. I think that's view. right. You probably get, you might, you know, if things work out well, you probably get 3 to 5% out of the market next year. Uh, but that's not so exciting. And it's not that exciting relative to Treasury returns and risk-free returns at this year and with volatility uh, as well. David, just to put a fine point on that, when you say the economic growth is going to slow, you're still looking for growth, right? You're still looking for an economy to continue to grow, maybe just not at the pace it has to this point? Is that what you're Un saying? Unquestionably, that's correct, Becky. So the, the uh, Fed will be raising rates for the right reasons still, because the economy continues to grow. Very much for the right reasons. We have uh, effectively zero real interest rates at this point still, given where uh, short-term rates are and where the inflation rate is. And inflation is probably creeping up, in my opinion, given what we're likely to see on wages at this point. So the Fed will keep going. Uh, they're concerned about financial stability as well, and I think things have become a bit bubbly uh, in that respect also. So I think that's key. David, you're saying two things which I, I don't think the market has fully grasped, and I agree with you. One is that the, they will f focus on the level of growth, not the delta in the growth. Yep. And two, that financial stability is going to be more important in, the, in their discussion than it's been in the past. You're talking about from the Fed's perspective. From the Fed's I don't think the market has fully comprehended these two points. Certainly it isn't internalized mm -hmm. it enough in prices. Yeah. Why do you think? Look, there's been a lot of liquidity in the system. There's been a lot of excitement about the tax cut. Profit growth on the surface has been extremely powerful, but a substantial amount of that came from the, the reduction in taxes. And we're going to see much less moving forward on a percentage growth rate in, in profits. Uh, the rest of the world has slowed, as you know, Mohammed. Uh, and Latin America isn't doing particularly well at this point either. So some of the boosts that had existed when we were all talking about synchronized global growth a year ago aren't really there to the same extent they are right now. So why aren't you putting all this together and saying that means that the possibility of a Fed mistake goes up and therefore the Fed will not likely deliver on what it, what it signaled? Well, the Fed always goes too long in their tightening cycles. In my opinion, they're always late uh, and they're always, ex they're always late to get started and they're always excessive in what they do. Uh, now, maybe they'll get it right this time and we'll have a softer landing than is usually the case. But they've got certain issues they need to face. Wage gains are running at close to 3%. Some measures are higher than that. Uh, and the labor market is extremely tight at this point. And so the, the likelihood that wages continue to accelerate from here uh, did, is did, pretty good. Did you cover your shorts in the, uh, in the, the short end of the, of the curve? I have not. I it's have still not. There too. It's not nearly as interesting as it was, but it's still it's interesting. It's much different than when you put those. On. Correct. I mean, yes. Done quite a bit. Yeah. You think they're getting close to where they they, they should? Uh, you say they go too long. Should they stop now? Stop in, in more? No, I don't think they should stop now. I think if they stop now, you'll get uh, excesses in the financials. And there's excesses in the credit markets at this point. Spreads are very very narrow. There's been a significant amount of debt issued by the corporate sector, uh, and I think that's problematic as well.